Welcome back to Squishcraft. I cannot believe you guys enjoyed this game so much, but this game is the epitome of don't judge a book by its cover, and I'm going to show you why. First off, they made the World Warp Hub a puzzle. This is a surprisingly deep puzzle game about pushing blocks together to squish them to solve puzzles. But now I gotta figure out where to actually get to the next world. I did world 0 and 1 last episode by throwing myself and the laser into the portal respectively. So obviously I need to get this spiky block out into the portal. But if I can't touch it, how can I push it? Well, by pushing something else into it, hopefully. Yeah, okay. So it only hurts me. Got it. And I've got this spiky world. How can I squish this spiky block to my advantage? There's two of me. Listen, one was enough, especially <laughs> with this player block, but two? Oh, this is interesting. Wait, one of them got destroyed because I guess he's just fragile. He's got the big tear in between them. So it's a very fragile block. I can push it around all I want and bully it because there's no fragility here. Only winning. Okay, noted. Oh, I see. So any block, as long as it has a tear in it, will be destroyed by spiky block. That's cool. So the object of each level is to get to the flag. In order to get to the flag, I actually need to get past this cat girl box. However, I can't push or squish it out of the way. So what I imagine I need to do is kind of merge it with this fragile cat girl. So they both become fragile and then I can destroy them both and it does work that way. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Interesting design. This time I can't touch the spiky box myself, but I've got to get the spiky box all the way over here to destroy this fragile cat girl. Now, as I've been playing this game, I've realized that honestly, it makes sense to have the graphics be pretty simple because we're working with squishing here. It's not your everyday puzzle game. So I understand, you know, the, the programmer graphics it actually perfectly makes sense for this game and makes it manageable but why do we have cat girls in this guy's face i don't know clearly it's just genius that i can't understand right so i'm thinking the way i actually get the spiky box over is through this little avenue now i'm wondering if i need to squish here i actually probably do need to squish here and then send this down and then does this work no i think what's happening is that i just need to have the spikes be at the very top of the box yeah, so that way it can destroy. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so make sure the spikes are actually touching where I want to go. Two lasers, two red switches. The object is to get past this red mover. In order to do that, I need to block both of the lasers. Well, thankfully, I have two cat girl boxes, so I can block it all I want. So it's simple. You just kind of set them both up and get them in the position. I can't push them myself because I'm fragile, but thankfully, I got this box ahead of me. And thankfully, I can set this up and then send it over and then bring it back oh but i can't get it out of this row yeah i need that reset okay well it's not that bad still because what i need to do is do a the classic three into two squish which means i can actually separate the movement or the moving blocks which is quite cool I don't think we've, I mean, people have probably figured it out, but this kind of recontextualizes the uh, two-way moving blocks as just two one-way moving blocks that have been squished into one another. It's quite cool. It's a great way to look at this. I am not looking that, at that challenge level. This game is hard enough, man. <laughs> I Maybe I'll return to it at the end, but I it's destroying my brain. So the goal is to get the spiky box all the way to that cat girl in the corner, but... I've got to get it to go through this bend. Now, we've seen a level kind of like this, but with a laser instead of a spiky box. And the way it was solved was by attaching the laser to my forehead. So I've got to somehow attach a spiky box to my forehead without injuring myself because I can't immediately touch it. Well, that's fun. I mean, how about this? You know, I at least start by getting it the hell out of here. And then I imagine I got to do a three to two squish so I can separate the movement block and the spiky box. But hold on. The only way I can do a 3 to 2 squish is side to side. There doesn't actually seem to be a way for me to detach the cat girl. And it's like, yeah, there's always going to be another cat girl. Okay, how about a side to side 3 into 2 squish? Let's do it this way. I mean, how does this help? Oh! Oh, you can split this guy! And he, he doesn't regenerate spikes in his uh, untouching half. I mean, that makes obvious sense. Yeah, but none of the spikes are facing up, so I can't really pierce the cat girl. Sad. I really think I need to get this out and then separate it somehow. I mean, maybe there's just some cheeky way to set up the three into two, like 
separating this. I mean, this actually looks like it works. So, you know, I'm glad I revisited this. Because now, at least, how do I... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I can separate them like so. We're not out of the woods yet. I still got to do a lot to actually be able to attach the spiky box to my forehead. But I feel like this still works very similar to that previous level. I've just got to get the spiky box reasonably out of the way. So that might mean just pushing it up. Maybe push this over, push it up. And now I can send this over, push this up, and then push this out. There we go. Ooh, that was surprisingly hard to squish and hard to move about. This time the puzzle wasn't really the logic, just the actual movement. I'm not sure what to expect more of in this game. Harder logic or harder movement. I like it when it's harder logic, easier movement. That's just my preference. Four fragile cat girls. We're gonna mow them down like grass. Only two spiky boxes. So I've gotta figure out a way to get four spiky boxes out of the two. Well, I'm sure that I could do two of these three into two pushes. Cause here at least I can separate it and then have this one live to see another day. And then I actually don't see how I'm gonna get four out of this. I would have to split this up, but then I lose a box. That doesn't seem right. What if it's time for the legendary five into four squish? I have not had to do this at all yet. That's totally gotta be it, right? Behold the ultimate squish. I actually bet this gets me four of them. Yeah, it splits all of them up. That's beautiful. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Five into four. Are we gonna see a <laughs> six into nine? <laughs> Kill me. Uh, oh God, what is this level? Ooh, yeah. Oh God, a perpetually moving block. Not even one that can be disabled. At least I can let it go by, and at least it wraps around the edge. I mean, this is kind of gross. All I can do is kind of save the cat girls one at a time. Hashtag save the cat girls. Yeah, but like, what do I really do? That's so many spiky boxes. You tell me I have to eliminate all these squish heads? So I was thinking I use the cat girls to neutralize the threat of the spiky boxes? That only gets me so far. That is a mega squish though, seven in one. Look at all of them just hanging out. Uh, it doesn't mean I can get anywhere though. I was kind of hoping that would mean I could actually retrieve this movement block. Uh, but that's not going anywhere. What if instead of squishing the spiky blocks, what if I squish a barrier onto myself to keep myself safe? Imagine this, you got the funny face and then you got a cat girl on each side. Question is how the hell do I do that? How about I set up the squish from this direction first? Because at least now I can squish this out of the way. Yeah, actually, that might be it. Yeah, because I can send this down and around now. Leaving the other cat girl here. Pushing this box up here and now creating a cool squish. And I can waltz on through safely. Oh, that's a sick level. Super sick. Now it feels like I... Wait, what? There's two of me? Oh god, but one of them's on their side! Also, I love how you can see the spikes up here. That's from the spiky blocks down here. Here's a question. Can I squish with myself now that there's two of me? Fellas, be honest. If you had a clone of yourself, would you squish? Because I feel like I need diagonal movement to win this. The only path to the flag is like... Here, 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 here. I think I need to be able to enable diagonal movement. There's no other way. Yeah, but I can't like push into myself. And if I press right, the top one sends me down. What on earth? Can I split up one of my face blocks to make two face blocks in the same direction? So I wanted to get this box all the way up here, then followed by this box. And then with the cat girl, so hold on. So now, I should have two of them. You'll see. It looks like one big box. I assure you it's not. Aha! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So now what I want to do is not die, but instead squish my vertical block with one of the horizontal blocks by using the other horizontal block. Kind of like this. Yes, lining that up. Move? No. Uh, but how do I, like, actually do that. I feel like I need to set all three of us up in the bottom row somehow. Well, kind of like that, yeah. Wah! 
That works. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, that yeah, that works. I listen. I was just trying to make it work. I knew the idea. Just the movements were finicky. Now watch one movement. Pressing left moves me diagonally. One up. Oh, hold on. Left goes diagonally again. Up takes me diagonally this way. Up again. Up. Right. Up. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. The diagonal squish movement. Holy crap. Um, that's a lot of elements. So I gotta get past the blue, red, and green triangles. So somehow destroy both cat girls and have something on this button. Insane. And I can't touch any of the spiky boxes. Great. Because I was thinking what needs to happen is that the spikes need to merge with each of the receptors. And I think the receptor will still be able to touch the laser, but the cat girl will also be destroyed. But it's not as easy as just using the cat girl blocks to push the spiky block in. Because I'm going to need a block left over for this. Let me just make sure my original idea isn't insane. So like I push it down. Oh, but I can't even use one block to help me out here because I, I need the other cat girl block i mean at least this saves one of them but this does work as planned but does it work though i mean not really i gotta figure out how to split one of these damn blocks open what about an idea where i squish three into two like this i guess one thing i can do is set this up for a little success maybe that's all i need maybe this is just all i need yeah actually i'm pretty sure this works so I did have to just split up the boxes. It was just a very strange way of doing so. I mean, I'll take it. That works. Jeez, they're really squishing my brain here. Level nine, how bad could it be? First off, how do I even get out of this prison? I guess very carefully by pushing boxes to push this out of the way. I feel like the, um, the, the fragile cat girl needs to merge with not one, but both of the spike boxes. And I think as long as they're merged, they then also become fragile. So then the spike boxes can destroy one another. And I hope I can show you what I mean. The issue is I have to figure out where to set up this three into two squish. Cause I, I want to do it here and then split it off, but you can see there's an issue. There's no way to actually retrieve it. And I can't do it vertically. To my knowledge, I don't think it'll work. Well, I can't do it vertically unless I can retrieve both pieces is the idea, which doesn't have a spot. The only spot at all I see to do this three into two squish is right here. But I've got to figure out very carefully how I can get the cat girl box into that section. I was thinking I could at least start by using these boxes to help me out as in push you down, push you around, so I can at least push this up. Because I'm just trying to do a whole dance right now. The things I do to be able to get the cat girl box into this vicinity. This is this was just hell of a shuffle, but it works. It totally works. Send this down and just out of sight, out of mind. I don't think I actually want to push it too far down. I suppose this works a lot better. Because now at least I can make the squish. But now I have the issue where I gotta get past the spiky boxes again? Like I was thinking one of these half cat girls could merge with one spiky box and the other could merge with the other. Then I somehow push them close to each other and they destroy each other, but it's not that easy. It's never that easy. How about something like this? Or I can squish you in and then hit them with a cool double squish so I can split. This has to be the one. It has to be. I mean, uh, there is no other way to set this up. I've been, I've been searching for this idea forever, but just actually getting the blocks into position has been a total pain in the ass. I mean, I've had enough to think about that. I'm sure it was going to work. It's a cool solution. I just, ugh, I hate the block pushing part of the puzzle. I love the cool logic and unique interactions, but I hate pushing blocks around. I hope the game doesn't go into this direction where the challenge is just how do you get the blocks in the right position? Because too many fucking puzzle games are doing this shit nowadays. They're like, oh, how can we make Sokoban totally unique? Y you make it unique with all these cool mechanics you had, not by making Sokoban hard. Sokoban is whatever. I, I could rant about that forever. I don't think you guys need to hear it. What's up with the big spiky dudes? I can push you, yeah? <laughs> nice. I can squish. What? 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 Wait, where am I? Where? Where did I go? How? I'm on the outside. Uh, help! I'm trapped. Oh, I see how I gotta get to nine. You gotta destroy it like this. But I still can't get in. 
And that's because I had to destroy the cat go below me. Hold on, reset. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a freaking challenge level. I don't even want anything to do with it, but now I'm so curious. Maybe I have to actually get it from this guy over here. Yeah, that's the one. So I got to warp up top, warp over here, and then head back up to the top so I can push it up and then finally in. Because at least now I can destroy this moving down, push it in here, and then bring this other one around. Destroy the cat girl and squish it into here. Let me access this level. Now, it's a bonus level, so how enthused am I to do it? I don't know. But it's cool that I unlocked it. I decided I can't do this level. I mean, I probably can. I just don't want to. Oh, nice. I've unlocked level four, but not level three. I guess I'll have to figure that out next time. I'm going to call it here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see if uh, this episode <laughs> is as liked as the previous. Catch you all in another day. Peace.